working with Karani in 1976, 1st of February. I uh, started a training pilot, uh, training as a crop duster. Already had my commercial training, uh, instrument training, and have the, what you call the, the license to fly commercially. However, I did not have a rating to do aerial spraying. And joining the company I, at that time, which was Training Air Limited, I was able to do the training to become a crop spraying pilot. So from during that time, from 76 to 1984, I was with uh, Train Air Limited with Carney doing aerial spraying and we covered the general area of north and south of Trinidad. At that time, I, I opened my own company, having the experience again in the aerial spraying. Uh, the spring, the aerial spring, early in the morning, late in the evening, once the wind is very, very low, and during time of fertilizing, we changed the system of the aircraft from spring to, fer to fertilizing where we put, um, take off the spring equipment and put something called a spreader under the aircraft. And the aircraft is, was able to disperse the, um, the granules, the uh, fertilizer. We also was involved in the, um, the carony went into the rice um, plantation rice industry in the sense not industry but farming rice and in so doing also we used to use the aircraft for both spring and and, and seedling seeding you know. once once a field is programmed to be sprayed it is programmed by the research station they would go and look at the um, the fields and um, take samples and and, and they would Right, the frog hoppers, and then they would put the field to be sprayed. Once the field, the, the area is to be sprayed, they would put two flagmen in the area, in the field that, or the fields that, to be, that need to be sprayed. But we will start downwind from the, um, in, the, in that particular block, and the flagman would walk upwind. So once he, yeah, the flagman, he's, um, well, what do you call it? Um, suited in the sense for the job because in, in white plus he has his respirator and plus he has all his uh, paraphernalia to he give the pilot an indication of where he where the aircraft needs to do this the SWAT yeah he has a flag on a pole and he would walk um, so the, the flagman he would be briefed what chemical that we are going to be um, spraying. So he would un understand that he has to walk 110 feet or 66 feet or 33 feet. Yes, he aligned himself and um, with the flag, flagman. And as soon as the, 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 air, the aircraft has turned and is coming to the, the flagman, once he identified the position that the aircraft has to pass, he then walks into the, into the wind. So when, 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 when we do pass, the pilot pass, the aircraft pass, the, um, the spray now would, um, would be on the spot we are making and plus it would, any drift would be down in, from him, uh, away from him. They had their own managers for, in charge of, uh, for the spraying, um, mixing up the chemicals. The, um, the chemicals used to leave um, what you call Waterloo, come down to Camden and then they would mix their, their supervisors, mixers, and they would mix the chemical as, as mandated or by the research station. And the chemicals now, are in, um, well, definitely it impacted in the sense of um, uh, we still got the, the, four, the five aircraft, the crop sprayers. We eventually thought that maybe something would happen later on and it's very difficult to get these aircraft, so we decided to keep them. And the idea. So um, yes, definitely that 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 what do you call it? That income, that what it cash flow was not there again. And uh, we have to do other things to well, keep we it. Well, what? Position. Well, we continue with our flight training school. We continue with our charter services up the Caribbean, and we continue. We had a contract with uh, Petrochin, so we can continue with the helicopter business. So we kept balancing. Uh, maybe you could use the air, but there's a lot of forest fires um, in the hills. And uh, I can see we, uh, Rico, we still got the aircraft, we got the pilots. We could just, 
and we can do some maybe fire bombing or I, I, I realized that when you used to spray the sugar cane, the, the villagers always say you know, they're happy for the aircraft passing around because control of uh, mosquitoes, flies, or things like that. So maybe um, something like that we could see about. Yeah, I saw they do the fogging on, on the ground you know, for control of mosquitoes and so. Um, but maybe the airplane can play a part. We did use the aircraft for the Ministry of Agriculture where there was a lot of locusts um, in the forest and they, they use the aircraft for spraying the locusts.